Hello, welcome back to Brenda Sushi Life Reading. In this episode, I will be giving this uh, the breakdown of this um, eyeball, mechanical eyeball, created procedurally using Spread Chalk add-on in Blender. So, this is the control that I have at the moment. So, the eyes can blink, and we have this uh, pupil dilation. Um, we have the left, right, and up, down control so that's a uh, that's pretty much it it's actually pretty simple it's a uh, currently you can see there's nothing in the scene as except these three parts so the eyelid upper eyelid lower eyelid and the uh, and the eyeball so if we take a look at the nodes um, basically the top and bottom eyelid is just a half sphere so I have a sphere and I'm selecting and actually masking the elements of the sphere by uh, by the normal directions. So I could actually make changes here and get a different sphere. So I can have the eyelid thicker or things like that. So this is pretty basic. And I'm using list mask of course, so get the selection that you want, list mask it, and then delete loose. We need to do that, however. And then we just solidify. And then I can get rid of this viewer, and I only have this B mesh viewer, and we have matrix. So here, this is like uh, the rotations for the eyeball. So and I'll multiply it by 1 and minus 1, so I have the opposite rotation. And I'm using this matrices. Okay, currently it has two matrices here. So normally it's a good idea to always have this one empty. So let me quickly make changes. This is a better, this is better than having two of them. So get rid of this. So now this becomes a single object. It depends what you're doing really. Um, so now we have this empty. What's gonna happen is that if you now move this around, so it's easier to do. So it's like that. So same thing at the bottom we're just going to plug this in this is going to be our instancing method so let's save this now the eyeball itself this guy over here I started with a cylinder so this guy is actually a cylinder cylinder has uh, the top and the bottom Okay, that's actually a cylinder, right? As uh, the cylinder that we know. And I simply cast it into a sphere. So there's a pupil control, which is actually just controlling the radius. The eyeball itself is, I can still control the size using this. Just a little bit, just like that. So it's not like 100% eyeball, but uh, it's kind of there. It's not too bad. And then I'm here. I'm selecting mesh by locations by the normal directions, actually, similar to what we have before with the with the eyelids. This percentage control this part of face of the the eyeball. So whatever being selected is actually being excluded. So there is it really, it's really that simple. Even though I know it's not, it's not perfect. It's a quickie, but it's, a, it's interesting. Why not? Let's just push it in instead of extruding out. Yeah, I think that's that's actually better. All right, and uh, and then I have control for the rotations. The whole thing is actually 
being transformed on, at the at the vertex level it's not being rotated um, not like a transform so we have a lot of convenience here like move we have rotate and we actually have scale as well um, so yeah at the end we just plug it in into the mesh viewer so so why I have this from the very beginning that's because we can then just use random vector plug this in you can have multiple eyes multiple eyeballs you can control this control also the, the scaling things like that normally if, if it's random I plug into the axis and then increase the angle you can have this and also you can control the scaling of course random number so we, we have 10 float and vector in so one two three four. control the size of the eyeball so we have the numbers like this in and have 20 and have 100 And we can just spread them apart. Oh, there's overlap. Randomize the seed. So normally, in reality, something like this, uh, you probably want to use instancing, like a, like proper instancing. And this one is actually generating the geometry. And normally, if you have over 1,000 you probably want to use particles so you can go 1 million or something so now it's a little bit like that so I'm, ra I'm randomizing the random so a lot of eyeballs and this one is still, I think, can be controlled. Yeah, to do the blinking. You might ask, okay, can can the blink, can each of the blink be randomized? I have a feeling that we can. Uh, this guy, right? Random number. Float between minus 180 and 180. 100 it's probably not gonna work uh, it depends how you set it up uh, if it's like a monad maybe you can in reality like I said if it's gonna be instance uh, you probably need to use blender owns instancing like kind of like linking one eyeballs and then you have one rig and then you want to have instance and each one of them is randomized that's probably something that I need to think about yeah this guy see which one of them seems to have no it's only one value for everything maybe I need to split it it needs to be turned into a monad at the moment it's it's not gonna work like that but there you go that's the mechanical eyeballs um, Hopefully you find this interesting. The yeah, I think this can be improved. Of course, the eyes eyes is, doesn't really work like that. Seems seem to be more sophisticated, but I think it's a good start. You can always try and modify this and make a better one. All right. So thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.